Hi, in this video we're going to be taking a look at restricting the key in Doubler 2. So let's start in the Play tab. In Doubler 2 you're always in some form of key restriction and that means that Doubler will only output notes that are in that key. So you can see the key restriction here at the bottom and make a quick change to another key by using the drop downs for either the root note here or the scale next to it. As a default a new profile will be restricted to C major which is what we're in now. Both the piano roll at the bottom and the pitch wheel also illustrate which notes are in that key restriction. So the pitch wheel is split into 12 segments, one for each note in the chromatic scale. So we have C, C sharp, D, D sharp, etc. And double will only show notes on the pitch wheel that are in the current key restriction. So for example, as I'm currently in a C major, only the notes in a C major scale are shown on the pitch wheel. So if I sing a note that isn't in this key, such as a C sharp, double will instead output the nearest in key note to that input pitch. Da, 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 da. So all the notes that are output there are in a C major scale, even if I was singing flat or sharp. In any given key restriction, I can also limit the notes further by clicking on an active note on the piano roll or on the pitch wheel to deselect it. Say for example, if I deselect the E here, I'm still in a C major key, but I'm now in a restricted subset of that key that doesn't include the E note. If I want to start adding in notes that aren't in that key, then we need to change the key entirely. So let's head over to the key tab where we can see how to do that. So the key tab has three sections. The top drop down shows what the key restriction is for the profile and it works exactly the same as on the play screen where we can select the root note and the scale next to it. The other two sections in the key tab are there to help you choose a new key restriction. So there's the pitch wheel on the left hand side where you can select the notes you want to include in your key restriction and on the right there is a list of possible key restrictions that Doubler has suggested based on our note selection. So the selected notes are shown on the pitch wheel in this coral colour and you'll see that to start with the selected notes align to whatever the current applied key is, but I can remove or add a note to the selection by clicking on it. You'll see when I do this, the list of possible keys on the right hand side update based on that new selection. So the key restrictions are listed in order of how well they fit this new selection, and Doubler will have a suggested best key fit, and that's the one highlighted in purple. You'll notice on the pitch wheel some of the notes are also highlighted with the same purple colour, and these are the notes that are in that suggested key. So I can change the suggested key by clicking on any of the other keys in the list and when I do the purple highlights on the pitch wheel are updated to show me what notes are in that suggested key. So if I click on C major here the purple highlights move to show me the notes that are in a C major scale. I can also choose between the subset of a key which is to say keeping the restriction limited to only the notes I have selected or I can choose the whole key. You'll see that as I'm clicking around between different suggested keys the top bar isn't changing and that's because I actually haven't changed the key yet. So if I left the key tab now, I'd lose this current selection. So if I want to actually update the key restriction to the suggested key, I need to click the update button here. So if I go back to the A harmonic minor one we had and click update, we now see our key restriction is updated and this resets everything, including the pitch wheel, to that new key. You can also select which notes you want to use via singing. We can select singing notes here and then simply sing the melody or notes we want to use to update the pitch wheel. Da, da, da. So the pitch wheel is now updated with those three notes that we sang in and we can see on the right hand side we also have suggested scales that include those three notes. So we have G sharp major pentatonic at the top here and we can either expand the pitch wheel to that full scale or if we want to keep it to just those notes we sang in we can select the subset. But let's expand that to the full one and now the pitch wheel is updated to that new scale. If I wanted to remove the selection that I sung in, I could hit the eraser button here at any time. So now that we've updated our key restriction, we can head back to the play tab. The pitch wheel here is also updated and we can now record or sing our melodies into our door. So that's an overview of how key locks work in Doubler 2, but if you want to find out more, make sure to check out our Learn Doubler page.